Okay, guys. Uh, I think now it's it's okay. It's working. I. Um, so I'm sorry for the for my connection. It was really bad, and I don't know. But now I'm back, and I think the the sound is okay. Everything is fine now. Um, so as I was saying, I'm gonna restart what, what I was saying. Yeah? Um, let's take a look at the weekly chart. As I said, we I said yesterday, yeah, that we would perhaps bounce out of this blue. Uh, this bl oh Jesus no that's so much this blue trend line here it would touch it and it would bounce and that that happened which is nice right <laughs> um, we bounce really good we we are we are still bouncing okay this is not enough okay we we touched it the blue line and we are bouncing okay but I don't recommend but recommend you guys to trade now based on my uh, speaking from my personal experience i don't trade against i don't trade against the trend okay if the trend is going down like we have here the trend is going down i don't trend against the trend i don't trade against the trend <laughs> nice <laughs> i don't trade against the trend <laughs> it's funny <laughs> okay and we are sitting below the 55 EMA, we are sitting below the 21 EMA, we are sitting below the 8 EMA perhaps. Let me check it here. The 8 EMA is, uh, is another one that's gonna tell us um, if it works, it's not working. Okay, never mind. So this is the weekly chart, okay? Uh, what, I, what I have for my, for my daily chart the, the whole picture is this, remember? If you have been following me, this is the whole picture. Okay, and it seems that we are bouncing now. The way that we are bouncing now, we would have this the, the formation of this B here, okay? The formation of this B, we would have finished this A, okay? Just now, it's this is a crazy dump. I, I, I It has never happened before like this. Perhaps here, right? In this, uh, when it was like this is was this is this was March. This happened, right? Uh, a huge dump like this is it's a rare event, guys. Rare event. I wasn't expecting it, and no one was expecting it. Okay, and now we need to wait for this retracement because this is gonna this retracement is gonna tell us what's gonna happen next okay that that's the wisest thing to do now don't enter don't do nothing now just wait if you if you of course if you enter along here you're gonna take your profit but if you haven't you just wait for the retracement okay because we need to see what's gonna happen now what the market is gonna tell us okay this is a hypothesis okay this red line here i'm not sure i can't guarantee that we are gonna uh, uh, that we are gonna that we are that we are not gonna have a lower low here that, and touch this yellow line here. I am giving you guys this hypothesis based on the on this assumption that I think that we are gonna have this triangle formation here to end this correction in time. As we have finished the correction in price, the way I see it here, okay, with this sharp correction A B C here. If you look at my other chart, I have more data to show you guys. This is my other chart. And I have this, a lot of, Jesus, let me take this out. Okay, this is my whole count, okay? Uh, we are in a wave one of this degree here that we would, this is the intermediate degree, okay? And we are now putting in a wave two. We have this whole correction here, this whole correction struck. This was a, one of my counts that I was proposing okay it's now invalidated why because it, it it doesn't work like this okay we have a, this sharp w it's the same thing but this x here in order to to this thing to be an expanded flat a b c would have to would need to have a a higher price here okay and it's not it's not gonna happen okay so i adapted to it okay and this count here is invalidated. This is just 
a hypothesis again uh, this is what we we gave you guys we give we this is um this is what we give you guys we give you guys uh, information uh, probabilities okay what is what might happen okay and this is this was one scenario okay this is not gonna happen at least not because of this price action right uh, but we have indeed this two here that might touch the 4200 uh, I use log scale guys because uh, daily charts for, I'm gonna show you guys it's better than saying anything I'm gonna turn off the log scale see and I'm gonna turn on you have way more data you have more uh, information to work with if you just use the arithmetic which is the this this mode here you don't have a, you don't have clear uh, you don't have data here to really see what's going on at the beginning of the of of the bitcoin here at bitfinex so I, that's why i need logs i use i need log scale to see some details that otherwise i couldn't okay um so this count here is invalidated as i said okay let's take a look at this one here this is the daily as i said we need confirmation we need to see uh, how much are we gonna bounce okay if we use here our retracement tool from the top of this wave here to the bottom this is our b okay at least at least seven seven two hundred but i think it's a it's not gonna happen okay we were not gonna we, we are gonna bounce to the let's 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 take a look at the daily chart uh the hourly chart right because uh let's see here we have it okay this is the the hourly chart yeah so just now we have a candle here yeah that's gonna that's telling us that we have a, a, a nice buying pressure and of course we bounced out of this support here that i was calling it now we have this resistance yeah and of course we stopped there and this resistance here this resistance here is about six six four hundred six five six five hundred yeah it's about this region here then we have this another resistance here what i am suggesting you guys and proposing is that we are gonna get to this b here okay that might be 7100 yes that's true this is not impossible actually i was thinking about it that was too much but let me take this a little bit down yes this is gonna be 7100 perhaps hmm it's difficult we need to okay what we what we should see now in order to confirm this b here we need to see the the price act the, the bitcoin crossing this medium line here's my pitchfork okay we need to see the pitchfork uh bitcoin crossing the medium line and go in and the medium line acting as a support because now it's acting as a resistance okay and then we're gonna we need to see some kind of movement movement one two three four five for a and then a b and then a c inside of this b here that i'm proposing a b okay we need to see this a b c perhaps not such a a, a sharp c but i think it's gonna be something like this why because we need to break to break this resistance in order to confirm that we have an a and stop here at this resistance here then this resistance here is going to act as a support then then we are going to bounce and break this resistance and touch the resistance here this resistance at the 50 percent of the retracement of this whole wave here okay which i marked with this purple line here i'm gonna mark it yellow this is this is the yellow 50 percent then we have this b this b doesn't need to be that uh that that deep okay the 50 percent is actually the sweet spot for a wave b but hmm. let's see we need a lot of things a lot of ifs before we say anything okay so 
first we need to have this one two three four five this motive impulse with this this structure here for our wave a this is gonna be our a this is gonna be our b and this is gonna be our c okay so the way that i'm proposing okay guys the way that i'm proposing this is what's gonna happen perhaps we don't have it perhaps perhaps the market surprises us again and we see something completely different okay but the way them that the, the, but the way them that i'm giving you guys is this you're first gonna have this a okay if we touch the seven eight hundred today or perhaps tomorrow i am gonna be really confident to short it okay and we have a kind of a reaction here we need to see a one two three four five touching this resistance here i'm gonna short it to, to, to get this b here okay because this b can be an expanded but then we are talking about a lot of ifs so just to for to get some some nice some nice uh profit here okay i'm gonna short it here if we have this a if we go as high as six eight hundred okay i would short but that depends of course on the indicators and everything okay uh, oh yes i was talking about this clear bull bullish divergence so this was not if you if you follow me on twitter you would have seen that i was calling this bounce okay and the same thing with the cmf it touched it here i wasn't seeing a lot of action but then suddenly we see this this uh, price action here and of course the the obv was also diversion okay you see here and you see here but the clear divergence here was in the the rsi right you see it's a double bottom here and we have a, a different uh different uh, lower low here but a double bottom here of course we would bounce that's why that's why i said you guys wait for the retracement okay the retracement is this 50 percent b here okay uh so now we got stopped at this six four six four hundred okay i ex uh, and i'm waiting for us to get at least at least to this blue line here seven six seven hundred okay perhaps this purple line here the pitchfork okay let's use the pitchfork as a as a guideline as well right perhaps we do something like this and then we would eventually break this pitch fork, right? For this wave C. Um, so, and this is this is fifty percent for our wave B. What leverage do you use? I use Bitfinex. Okay, I'm using Bitstamp here just because of the amount of data, but I just use uh, Bitfinex. So it's is uh, X3 it's not a lot of leverage okay uh i'm really conservative when i'm shorting and when i'm longing okay guys really conservative i'm thinking about i'm thinking way more about risk management than any everything else i don't care about uh losing or making profits but i'm i do care about the uh, whether or not I'm doing good trades, if I'm entering at the, at the right moment and if I have a stop loss, okay? If I have a really tight stop loss that, that, that's gonna prevent me from losing money, okay? From losing a lot of money. If it, this stop loss is protecting me against risk. Okay, so this is, the, this is my setup, guys. Uh, I, I, I need to wait. The way I play, I'm gonna wait for this A, seven, eight, hundred okay this is the way that I'm, doing, that I'm gonna play i'm gonna wait for this region here that i'm telling you guys that this is a resistance okay um and the the of course i'm gonna wait for the indicators as well i'm gonna wait for some kind of information but i'm gonna i'm gonna keep you guys update about the indicators if i see some diversions and so forth okay uh what about other uh yeah now it's this is a it, this is i'm gonna take i'm gonna wipe this out because it's not relevant any longer 
Um, yes. Um, do you guys have questions about Bitcoin? Some different ideas? <clears throat> I'm open for questions and for different counts, for feedbacks, perhaps something different that you guys have in mind. Yes. Yeah, this is a significant amount of sellers, huh? Yes, this is this is this need to be. How low do you think we are going long term? Yes, I, I don't know if you have been here since the beginning of the streaming, but I said that this red line here is a hypothesis. Uh, Taking this red line into consideration, we wouldn't have a lower low. We would touch it like 7,600, I'm sorry, 6,000, okay? 6,000, this would be our C wave here, okay? 6,000, perhaps 6, 9,000, but we wouldn't challenge this, this low, the, the lowest low of the year, which was the 6, uh, 5,800. Okay, 5879. Okay, we wouldn't challenge it according to this hypothesis here. Why I am proposing this hypothesis, guys? Because of the relationship between, let me show you guys this. This is my other chart here. That, okay, the, the, the count is different here, but um, let me do this. Uh, let me use this one here. Because assume that we have a one here. And a two here, okay. This this is wave two. I I have the proof that this is wave two. It's clear because I counted each of these sub waves here, and I have a, a clear relationship between each of these waves with a to the micro degree. So it's really difficult to come up with a to come up with a different count that doesn't uh, doesn't take into consideration that this is a wave one and this is a wave two. Okay, that, that, that says something otherwise. But I'm, I am assuming that this is one and two. Okay, this is the ABC we have here. If we, let me, bear with me guys, because this is this takes a little bit of work. Let me take the, the bottom of it, okay? And I'm gonna retrace, this is the bottom, this is, I'm gonna get the, the absolute bottom, okay? Absolute bottom to the top here, which was our 20k, right? Around 20k. Um, there we have it, right? So we have retraced to the golden zone there, right? We have been lingering. We have pierced through the golden zone, yeah? If you see it, we have pierced. We are now halfway through to the 786, which is not a bad place for waves too, by the way, especially for Bitcoin. But I think that we are not gonna touch it, 786. Why? Because we have retraced a huge amount of price here in, in two months. We have retraced A, B, C, this is sixth, 5% of this whole price, this whole impulse wave, we have retraced in just three months. Okay? It's a lot, guys. It's a lot. In just two months, three months. And then when it happens in markets, what we see is that we need to retrace in time. It's when we see this kind of pattern here, this lateral sideways pattern. It's when we see this pattern, it's because the, the asset is, with, is correcting in time. Okay, so we have a relationship between the amount of time that we spent in this parabolic movement here. You see this movement here? Uh, data range. Okay, this is my, this is the two, okay? This is the, when we started this whole movement here, this whole parabolic movement. This was 1070 days. Okay, and now we are correcting, okay, for 
237 days. We have a guideline, a basic guideline, guys, that tells us. I, I can show you guys, but uh, pre the previous corrections to show you the relationship. But uh, we have a relationship between the time that we spent in an impulse wave and the time that we are going to spend in the corrective wave. Okay? We have a relationship. It's not it's not arbitrary okay and what I'm proposing is that we have 1070 days so and to, we have we are in this we have been correcting for 234 days uh, the guideline says us is that at least 24 percent of the time spent in the impulse wave should be spent in the correction okay so if we do the math here okay well, let's do the math uh, if we divide the 234 days divided by 100, 1070, 21% 20 of the time, okay? This is on Bitstamp and as in allowing for this low here. We haven't yet, yet reached 24%. We haven't. So we need more time to correct and to get to this perhaps 300 uh, Perhaps until the end of the year, guys. Yes. Like 290 days. On BitMac, on BitPhoenix, this count is different. This, this, the math is different. I don't know why. I need to, to reconstruct. I need to remember what I was doing before. Because I have a different count that... Assuming that count, we have already retraced 24% of the time. But on BitStep, we haven't. So... Let's see, 290 days, okay? Almost one year. That would give us 27%, okay? Which is a nice number. So, I am assuming... That's why I'm giving you guys this... This ABCDE here inside of the Y, okay? I am proposing you guys because I think that we have retraced enough in, enough in price... But in time, we haven't. We have yet to spend more time in this correction. Okay, that's the, 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 the guideline that I'm following. Okay. I'm expecting to be situated to retrace 63, 66. So, yes, CryptoPus. Yes, we are gonna go at least to 6,000. At least. Okay. But not now. We need to have some kind of bounce. Okay, we need to have some kind of bounce, and it's gonna, um, and we we are gonna have we, we won't bounce to the. We are gonna test six eight hundred. In my opinion, six seven hundred. Okay, and then we are gonna get to the six six two hundred, and then or perhaps a, a bit higher six four hundred, and then we are gonna go higher seven two hundred. This is my target. Okay, this is my hourly chart, but. What I was talking about here is this the, the long-term perspective. The long-term perspective, the way I see it, okay, the way I see it, is that we are going to start now this B, and then we are going to have a C that won't put a new low. Why? Because as I have been explaining, we, we haven't retraced uh, enough we haven't retraced enough in time but we have retraced enough in price okay i might be wrong completely wrong though i might be okay be why because we can retrace to 786 that would be 4200 okay so then this red line here would be invalidated okay that's okay I'm considering it as well, but I, I like this idea of this contraction here. I like it, but this is a technician. This is speaking as a technician. Okay, the market doesn't need to work the way I like. Okay, never. <laughs> Actually, we need to react to the market, and I'm gonna be prepared to work with the market. I'm gonna be prepared to react to the market. Okay. Uh, and present a different thing because actually nothing is gonna change. We are going to have an ABC here the same way, but you're going to have a deeper C, okay? That's what's going to happen. And we might touch 
5400 5000 but then we're gonna have a bounce and then we're gonna go down again to if we are to see 786 we need to break this we need to break this geometry or we need a lot of time you see why we need a lot of time to keep this geometry guys you see to keep this geometry and don't break it don't break those trend lines we need a lot of time you see we would need to go sideways for this year and the next year that's the 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 theory behind it that's the 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 reason behind i am proposing this red line here as well right because if you want to to get to the 786 and keep this geometry here that would mean that wouldn't get there in 480 90 days okay that would takes that would take a lot of time okay it's not impossible that would be nice actually because it would have a, a nice relationship between the the time spent in the impulse and the time spent in the correction but again this is an, a hypothesis that i'm proposing this red line that would take us sooner not that sooner but rather sooner to the uh to a, a trend reversal okay that's my that's my perspective the my my long-term perspective guys so questions questions suggestions uh different views i'm open here for different uh or if you wanna if you wanna if you wanna if you want to ask me to take a look at the on a, at a different coin because all the the, the altcoins now it's gonna bounce a bit and it's gonna wait for bitcoin and yeah, that's what that's what i'm expecting i'm gonna trade ios uh, iota for example okay because we have this low here this crazy low here this we have we have crossed this this trend line that was oh my goodness <laughs> This trend line was the last trend line. There is nothing else here, nothing, and we cross it. So it's this is this this is almost breaking any sort of technical pivot that we would have if we consider it as it's a one, two. We are almost breaking it. Yes, we are at the last. Uh, this uh, box here, it's the last. <laughs> The, the last support we don't have anything else okay this box here it would be oh my goodness this would be the the end of iota that's why i'm trading i am in a long here okay i am in a long here but bitcoin i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait for this bounce here oh we have eos as well sorry for the editor yes yeah, i proposed this this was my setup and i got stopped it's okay i was counting on it yeah and you see this box here this was my support we broke it yes i'm i am not in a position now because i got stopped here i was expecting it to hold because this is not gonna be a one two now this is gonna be a this is gonna be this is gonna go lower i think yeah if this is gonna be difficult i need to recount this whole structure here yeah so my stop loss was in this position here and then now i'm no position okay guys eos i need to wait we broke this trend line here it's now i expect it to touch it here now so i expect it to uh, we trace to six, six, um, six bucks, seven, six bucks, twenty-two, six bucks, six bucks, twenty-two. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, this is my EOS. I love to trade it on Bitfinex. Uh, has a lot of volatility. I expect it to touch it again here at the CMF. When it touched the zero here, we expect it to, to do something okay it, that that's what is nice about the cmf okay the shocking money flow 
when it touches the zero here line it's when you see something happens okay you see here when it touched the zero we saw a, a hump and then it went down a bit but then we are seeing this movement going up right and sometimes we see weird things like this it's going down like crazy yeah but before it went down it touched the zero see it touched the zero it tried try and touch the zero touch the zero and then we had the huge dump okay if you were paying attention at the cmf you would see and it broke the, the this line of resistance as i played here at the rsi that's why i had my stop loss where i marked here i was i knew that if it broke it here this line this line here at the at the macd okay this was clear for me so this is my protection okay those lines here are my, pro my protection i knew if it would broke if if we broke this this lowest low here there's a lower point here at the cmf at the rsi i would get stop it okay this is how i use the indicators i use the indicators to protect me as well right uh <clears throat> so um that's it i think uh guys do you have any questions again i'm open for you guys if you wanna if you want to take a different if you want to if you if you want to meet you take a different look at bitcoin if you want to propose a different view a different count i'm here otherwise i'm gonna wrap up this thing and i'm gonna post this on my youtube okay as always and you guys can always check it later if you haven't watched it and if you guys want uh, to see uh, what I have what I have discussed, it's always interesting to go and see it again there. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna wrap up here, things. Yes. Um, if you guys have, if you guys haven't followed me yet on Twitter, please consider doing so and uh i want you guys to ask me questions <laughs> mr peekaboo yeah thank you very much i want you guys to ask me questions it's always nice for you guys to to ask me questions and to propose me different things yes but uh i'm gonna try to stream every day now okay guys if you if you don't if you haven't followed me on twitter please consider doing so this is my this is my YouTube channel. I'm gonna post my video there, this video there, okay. And uh, and you, and uh, we're, and we have a Discord now, right? We need to let me let me give you guys an invitation for our our Discord, okay. Wait a sec. Sorry for. This is our Discord, okay? And there you have a lot of information, my TAs. And we are here to. We are gonna be there. Are you a full time trader? Yes, I am a full time trader. And of course, I work with something else, but most of the time I am here doing my analysis. And I am kind of retired, you know? And I am an investor. To be honest, I mean, I am 80% invest. I, mean, I am 80% invest, an investor, and 20% a trader. If you if you understand the difference, I just trade 20% of my portfolio. Okay. And I'm not a day trader. I am more like yes, I am a day day three days trader. <laughs> so guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is so nice to have you guys here. You have my Discord, my YouTube channel, my Twitter, and that's it. Thank you very much for your time, and we see each other next one. Bye bye. Cheers.